Well, hello, everyone. Uh, it's such a joy to come to you, and I wanted to provide an update as we head into uh, this coming uh, Sunday. Um, and I'm going to provide two updates this week. I'm going to call this one part one of uh, the Crossroads Church uh, reopening uh, plan and update. I wanted to share first from a spiritual perspective on how you could prepare, because I believe that's most important. As you know, um, we haven't had in-person services uh, since the second week of March. I mean, how crazy is that? We miss all of you so much, uh, but we know that this separation um, God has used, and uh, we're looking forward to being together with everybody uh, this coming Sunday, June the 28th. And I wanted to provide uh, two pieces of, of information. And uh, first things first, I want to encourage you spiritually to be ready for Sunday. Now, how could you do that? Well, first and foremost, I want to invite you to join me in praying for God's covering upon our church and any other church that is reopening or has reopened um, for services this Sunday. Let us pray for God's hand of protection over the church. Uh, we don't want to see anybody obviously get sick or uh, in any way uh, feel uncomfortable. We want people to come to God's house um, to be able to worship, to be able to pray, to be able to be encouraged by uh, the Holy Scriptures, um, and to have the joy of fellowship with social distancing in place. Um, and so pray just for God's hand of covering. That's the first thing that you need to do as we prepare for the reopening. Here's the second thing that I, I want you to do. As I mentioned uh, with all of the inviting online that people are open uh, to church, it may not be this week that people come right away, um, but go ahead. If there are people that you've been connecting with, um, invite them to church. And so um, here's one piece of logistical information that I could share with you now is that in order to, to just spread out our membership and uh, potential attendership for Sunday, we're going to offer three services, a 9 a.m., an 11 a.m., and a 6 p.m. And I'm going to share the logistics of those services and what's offered and what's not offered in our next uh, update. Uh, but I want you to just be familiar with those times and uh, really have them in front of you. And I want you to be praying. You gotta be specific when you pray. Uh, God, I pray for the 9 a.m. I pray for the 11 a.m. I pray for the 6 p.m. Whoever's going to be coming. And so prayer, 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 that is the first uh, and foremost way that we're preparing for this reopening. Now, here's uh, the next thing that you could be doing that is um, extremely important uh, with, with the reopening of the church and uh, with, with this coming Sunday, is you can, in addition to prayer, you can come with an expecting heart, come ready to worship. So come with an expecting heart. Now, what do we mean by that? I, in addition to being prayed up, I want you in faith to be coming to church ready to worship, ready to give God thanks, ready to hear his word. And so that means that prior to coming, um, if there, this is a great time. This is what I'm getting to here, okay? This is a great time to get right with God, to reset the clock, to, to, to hit reset on your heart. So in addition to prayer for covering, this is what you might call like a, like a prayer of rededication in your life with God. Um, and really use this. I, I truly believe in using situations for our advantage. And so this is a, a reopening, a, a restart. This could be a, a new chapter in your walk with God. Um, this could be a, a commitment that you make to God that you're going to do when, when you come back in, okay? And so we have a prayer for covering. We have come with an expecting heart. Um, and then here's the last piece of spiritual counsel as you prepare. I want to invite you, and it doesn't matter what day you do it and when you do it and how long you do it. It could be just for one meal, but I want to encourage you to fast. And whether it is just for a meal or a day, um, I want to encourage you to fast just for God's blessing upon the church um, that we would be able to just see incredible results for salvation, um, that there would be great spiritual growth, exponential growth spiritually among people 
um, and that God would use the church as we reopen. And so uh, that is how I want you to prepare for this reopening. Pray for covering, come with an expecting heart, circle the wagons with God, get right. And then uh, take time to fast just so uh, that we are praying for breakthrough, that we're not just reopening, but we're hoping, we're trusting that there will be revival in this second half of the year. So let me paint this picture for you. The first half of the year has not been so good, okay? We've had a lot to deal with. We recognize that. There's been some disappointment. We understand that. We're at the halfway point of the year right now. Let's pray for this second half of the year uh, for God to do great things in our church, in our homes, in our community, in our nation, and in our world. And so I'm so happy to say that we are uh, in phase two of our city's plan, and now uh, the church is in its phase to reopen. And so uh, this is the spiritual council for our reopen plan. Um, I ask you to join me um, for a more detailed uh, description of what to expect um, and the, the protocols that will be in place. Obviously, uh, we will practice social distancing. Obviously, the building will be clean. Um, obviously, we'll have hand sanitizer throughout the building. All of that stuff is, will be in play. Uh, but that all comes second, by the way, to the spiritual covering we need to seek from God. That is the most important factor of the reopening, um, and that will help us uh, be better prepared for all of the protocols and logistics that are associated with the church uh, reopening on June the 28th. And so once again, know that uh, this time apart from being together in person has been difficult, um, but it makes uh, the idea of coming together and the blessing of church all the more sweeter. And so we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. So glad to, to be able to say that. And may God bless you and may God bless our reopening. Thank you.